Welcome to my Cisco CCNA Security Lab Review. We're doing Lab 41110, which is Configuring an Extended ACL Scenario 1. Again, I have this off my screen. Go ahead and read through the objective in the background. Let's go ahead and get started. So, Part 1 says Configure an ACL to permit FTP and ICMP. So, keep in mind when you do this, the order of the ACL matters. If you do a deny, for example, and then an allow, it will be matched line by line. And the first time a argument is matched, it stops processing. So if it did like deny all, allow FTP, well that deny all is the first one it will match on and it's gone. So order does matter. Going through our items says hop on R1. Enable, config T, let's go ahead and let's do access this question mark. We have two types, an extended and a standard. Uh, normally a standard is more limited. An extended you can actually uh, look at source and destination. So it wants us to do a numbered ACL, 100, so that's an extended question mark. Notice we have the next portion is a deny remark or permit. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to allow either FTP or ICMP. So we'll do a permit question mark. You can choose the appropriate protocol. All right, it is important to realize if you do permit IP, you cannot specify a TCP port. We are trying to allow FTP and ICMP. So we have to be careful. If we do IP, that's an internet protocol, not a port. So let's go and choose TCP, question mark. We can specify any. We can specify a specific host or a specific address. Well, with the, the source address, that could actually be a range of addresses because we could do an IP and a subnet mask, which is slightly different than a individual host. If you use the word host, it won't let you do a subnet mask. All right, so TCP, we want to go ahead and we want to allow any host. Notice that we can filter PC1 with the word host, or we could allow any host. In this case, we want an address belonging to that network. One seventy two dot twenty two dot thirty four dot sixty four wild card for the source. So they want the wild card address. So remember that's the inverse of the IP address. It's a slash twenty one, sorry, a slash twenty seven. So they want the last remaining five bits. So that should be zero dot zero dot zero dot thirty one. I'm not doing the math, you Plenty of other videos that I've done shows you how to do the math. This also tells you how to do the math right there. Space question mark. All right, so this is gonna get more complicated. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my window a little bit bigger. So with the source wildcard, now we need the destination. You can also match it uh, to a specific port or a specific range. We want to do to a specific host. We want to do it to host 172.22.34.62. And we want to do a specific port, hence the equals. You can do a port number or you can do common names equals here we can do FTP and that would allow or permit this network range with this wildcard mask access to that host for FTP all right it may not say it but there is an implicit deny at the very end which is block everything. So if we don't do the next line, it will block everything. 
All right, so I'm a little bit lazy. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and hit the up arrow and do some modification. I want ICMP. I want to keep the same network range, same host, and I don't need to worry about a port. All right, so again, all other network traffic is denied by default. But I'm of the mindset of, yeah, there's an implicit denying, but I always do my denying, just so that if I'm looking at my ECL, I may not remember there's an implicit deny, so it makes it a little bit easier for me. So we've done that. Let's move on to step two. Now that we created the ACL, we have to apply the ACL. How we do that is we navigate to the interface, IP access group 100, and we can filter it either as it comes in or as it leaves. We want to filter this as it comes in, and that's it for step Two. Let's go ahead and let's verify the ACL. So from PC1 to server. Let's go ahead and make sure ICMP works. We want to ping 172.22.34.62. It should be trying to do an ARP request, it's the IP, so that's why the remaining one works. So, that works. Now let's try FTP. FTP 172.2.34.62 Username Both the username and password are Cisco. FTP works. All right, so we've done all of that. Let's go ahead and go PC1 to PC2. PC2 IP is 172.22.34. 98, that will fail because the ICMP request was only allowed for the server IP address. So that could not work at all. All right, let's hop back on R2, or sorry, R1. I'm at my global configuration. I want to do IP access list, question mark. Notice I can do I did IP access list, which changes it slightly. So access list you can do, but that will give you the ability to do just numbered access lists. If you do IP access lists, we have a little bit more ability. We actually want to go ahead and do, let's do an extended question mark. We can do a number or word. Here we're going to do a word, HTTP only. And we're going to hit enter. That will allow us to do our named ACL or in ACL. All right. So we're done that part. We're going on to C. We want to. Let's do question mark first. We could uh, sequence numbers. We could do a default, permit, deny, remark. Here we have a few other items like no, but that's not going to negate a command, so we really don't want, really want no, exit really doesn't work, and default's really the only new one, and the sequence numbers. We want to do permit, we want PCP, similar to the other one where 
we can specify what type of protocol 172.22.34.96 question mark notice again that source wildcard address we want 0.0.0.15 here's how they did it again we've done enough of these in other courses where subnetting should not be an issue if you have problems with subnetting let me leave a comment below and I'll link you to the videos of my subnet problems alright let's do question mark we can do destination or we can do any or host or again we could do a specific port for what we're doing is we're going to do a specific port now EQ www that will allow us to use web traffic notice it's incomplete let's do space question mark that's because oh that's because I, I forgot a line I forgot we're doing it off of the host sorry Right there, we want to filter it, www traffic. I've completely forgot to do that line right there. So we want to do a host 172.22.34.62 equals. That way it's going to allow anything from this network to that host on port 80. And it works. Create a second one for ICMP. Again, I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm going to hit the up arrow, ICMP, same network, same everything, we don't, we're not going to be filtering off of a port, and there we go, so that one's good. Again, the 9, IP, any, any, just because that's how I, how I remember to do it, there is an implicit deny, but... I'm in the habit of always doing an I at the end. Exit out of our named ACL. Now that we've done that, we have to apply it. Let's go ahead and apply it to interface gig zero one. IP access group HTTP only. We want to filter it as it comes in. So we want to filter the traffic as it goes into gig 01, not as it's leaving 01, but it's coming into 01. I've already done other videos that explain the differences between inbound and outbound interfaces. Again, if you're needing help with that, leave a comment. I'll link you to the videos where I explain in more depth inbound outbound interfaces. All right, so step two is done. Now let's go ahead and let's verify with step three, ping from PC2 to server. I'm gonna go back to my addresses. Ping 172.22.34.62. And it responds. Okay, now let's try FTPing. FTP 172.22.34.62. It should fail because we only allowed web traffic and ICMP. Now let's try to browse to it. Our browser, web browser, 172. Dot twenty two dot thirty four dot sixty two and it does allow us to communicate over HTTP. What happens if we go to HTTPS? HTTPS should not work, it's not actually going, it's time it's timing out because that's using port four four three and we only allowed port eighty. 
and we should be done. Let's go ahead and check results just to verify. Resume, okay. Okay, so it did not like the fact that I did my denies. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go back, I'm going to fix that. Which is retarded, but it is what it is. So, let's show run. Because I added in the implicit, instead of just using the, the implicit denies, I actually added in my own. It didn't like that. So, what I need to do is... No. That gets rid of that guy. These are sub ones, so we actually need to... No. Oh, do show run. And you'll now notice sometimes I really hate packet tracer. kept the named ACL, but when I actually canceled out the that guy right there, it killed all of them. So I'm going to paste them back in. And now check results again. That's why, that's one reason I hate Packet Tracer is, cause I'm sorry, the additional denying what you're supposed to do, it killed it. Resume results, there we go. So, just because I added those two additional denying IP any any, instead of using the implicit ones, it dinged me on those. Which is crap, but it is what it is. If you have any questions, leave comments below. If you need any help, again, leave comments below. Thank you. You have a great day.